What's up, YouTube? Watch this on double speed if you want to make it quick. This is going to be a little long of a drive, um, probably 15 to 20 minutes. And the purpose of this video is I'm on the way home from a Christmas party. And um, I thought it would be cool to kind of show a live uh, real-time demonstration of uh, what Force Auto Stop can do on a Generation 1 Honda Insight. So I'm going to go ahead and reset my odometer here. Number B. Uh, okay, here we go. And let's see what we can do. I've got about a seven or eight mile drive home. All right. So as you saw there, when you stop the car, once you're at the right uh, operating temperature, it will auto stop under, I think it's, uh, I think it's 19 miles per hour and uh, to save gas. And so what some of the geniuses have done is create uh, some uh, PCBs, some circuit boards that you uh, wire into your uh, car's uh, computer through a little bit of uh, wizardry and um, and basically you have it where you can control and have auto stop at any moment so that's why it's called forced auto stop and so that's what we're going to demonstrate <clears throat> here on this drive um, so here we go um, typically uh, this car I have no mods for uh, gas mileage other than forced auto stop and I'll go ahead and engage it right now because I'm going downhill and the idea here is that we want to just coast a little bit whenever we can and gas engine off so you see that red light on uh, that is my indicator that forced auto stops on so right now as you can see the, the engine is off if you just look over here to the left of the uh, dashboard and uh, <clears throat> coasting along here going down a hill so you can use this basically anytime you're coasting and uh, the car is still fully operational uh, everything works uh, the IMA battery is giving power to the you know, power steering and every everything else in the car um, but the gas engine is off I can still brake and this is a somewhat hilly drive home. I'm gonna be doing some up uh, hill and some downhill and turning auto stop off. So as you see, the car kicks itself back on. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing some hilly, uh, some up ups, uphill and some downhill. Um, yeah, so this is a great mod. So this car, um, I've kind of got a great, great car here. The, the, as I said, the only mods I've got uh, is the auto stop. Um, I do have my tires inflated to about 45 PSI. Uh, I think the factory is 37 maybe or no, 39, I honestly don't remember, maybe it's 40, but they're all at 45, um, but really other than that, there's no mods. It's about 58 degrees outside, so optimal uh, temperature for the my, get best gas mileage in these cars is about 70 to 75. Um, in those conditions, 70 to 75, I can get about 74 miles per gallon in this car. Um, uh, as you see here, I'll flip to my uh, lifetime real quick, or that's actually my trip right now. I'm getting 61 in this tank currently, um, and that's because I've been driving mostly in, you know, 40 degree weather. You get in the low 60s if you're careful in cold weather. Um, in summer, again, in 70, 75, 80 degree weather, uh, without air conditioning, I can get about 74 in this car in town. Again, with the only mod being the uh, tires inflated to... Uh, 45 psi and that's without the uh, auto stop i actually just installed it or had it installed a friend installed it for me in this car um, so that just gives you a baseline um, i'm hoping to get 70 to 80 in this drive we're at 73 right now and as i said this is in town driving i know you can't see much of the road i got the camera kind of focused on the dash but um, I'm at a red light. I got some hills. I probably have four or five red lights in this drive home. So it's not inner city, but it is city. So it just updated to 78.9. And I'm planning on, I think I can get 80. One interesting thing about 
one of these cars is when you stop it's just completely quiet because the engine cuts off and if you're new to this and don't know what I'm talking about again this is this is the regular auto stop um, that just happens this is that Honda built into the car put it in gear the car turns back on now you might be wondering how do I get forced auto stop in my car and um, what you need to do is just search. There's some geniuses all around the world that will uh, maybe sell you and maybe install one of these. I got lucky, I've come to um, get to know some really good people in the southeast of America here who uh, I've been able to hire for some things and trade work with some other things and get some things done to my cars that I probably couldn't figure out myself. So hunt around Insight Central, Facebook, the insight groups you'll find people talking about forced auto stop all right so the the uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned this but this car also has a spoiler that I added so that's actually hurting my drag coefficient so I probably could get a little better gas mileage than I am um, but you know whatever one of the cool things about owning one of these, it's not, I mean, it's wonderful to save the earth and get good gas mileage. To me, like, the real appeal is just the ability to do it. It's it's amazing to get 80 miles per gallon in town uh, with these cars. And uh, just for that alone, it's, <laughs> it's kind of addictive. But we'll see what I get on this trip. As you can see, I'm about them assisting now, so I'm going back up a hill. Lots of hills here. Just trying to do a real world uh, MPG here with this little drive. Some folks have wondered, you know, I, I just was reading on Facebook today, someone was saying, you know, how do you guys get 60, 70, 80 miles per gallon? I can only get 40. Well, that, you know, one thing is you always want to try to keep this, this, uh, center here that they call it the, uh, the FCD meter, uh, fuel count display, I think is what that stands for. You always want to try to keep that, you know, over the 75, the 75, you know, being between the 50 and the 100. 75 miles per gallon so how you achieve that is um, you know you feather the throttle uh, you know coast when you can you want to um, you know someone said it said it like this just pretend like there's an egg uh, um, you know a fresh egg between your uh, foot and the gas pedal so every time you push it just super super light pressure learn to like right now I'm letting off as you can see it's regening um, going to the last red light here of this trip so we're at 66 now. These got, uh, in 2000 when these cars were introduced to the universe, the, uh, or to America, they, uh, the EPA was 61 city and 70 highway. And then I think a couple of years later, this is an 03, but from what I remember reading, the, the, uh, the people that do the estimates, they uh, changed it, to, you know, changed the measurements or whatever, and it dropped it back down into the 60s. I'm consistently, as I said, I'm able to get in the 70s in decent weather uh, around town. Um, in the winter, I can get in the 60s around town. I know I'm repeating myself, uh, but the bottom line is, what are we going to get here? So we're at 66, got about four miles going. We've hit a lot of hills, we've hit a lot of stop and go, having to like accelerate a good bit. Got a little stretch here for the next mile or two that's mostly... Um, well, there's only one more light, I think. And you might say, well, I don't have auto stop. Well, here's a trick I did before I had for the forced auto stop is that I would just put it in neutral and uh, coast anytime I was going down a hill. And that drops your uh, RPMs down to about 1,000 here. I'll do it right now. So I'm not gonna go into force auto stop. I'm just coasting in neutral. And of course, I'm not able to regen right now, um, but I am saving gas, so. Another thing to note about this car is the battery is about 12 years old, so it's kind of beat, um, but it's functioning well, but that might have a little something to do with gas mileage. All right, so here comes a hill. I'm gonna go into forced auto stop again. I'm going about 50, 55 MPGs, and here we go. So the car is auto stopped again, coasting at 55. And this is where you'll really see your uh, your MPGs uh, improve if you have the forced auto stop mod. Uh, it's really when you have any long coasting, you know. So, for example, like 
my commute to work is about 10 miles and I can coast in a forced auto stop for about one and a half of those miles I can just coast and with the, with the car off and um, so that's really you know if, if you've got the ability to do that if you got long stretches that's really where you're gonna save uh, on the gas you can double click your FCD button over here to the left uh, to get real-time updates so you just saw how it updated to 76.8 you might think wow how did it jump from the 60 to 70 uh, in you know just half a mile well the car was off the whole time and it's still off right now so it's a fantastic way to save gas um, it's foggy and cold like I said I'm PSI is 45 on my tires I do have Bridgestones um, it's about 58 degrees outside a little drizzly but not bad so I'm heading up a hill I'm gonna go ahead and put the car back in gear we are back live okay we're at 76.8 now and I'm almost to my neighborhood six miles in hopefully this video won't be longer than 15 or 20 minutes again I, I know this is um, you know kind of repetitive and boring but I just wanted to do a real real time you know, you hear people say, oh, I got 100, you know, gas miles per gallon or 80 miles per gallon or whatever in my, in my wood. But it's like, yeah, under controlled circumstances. This is just a drive from one house to another on a hilly road. I think I hit five or six stoplights um, in town, doing in-town speeds. And so this is just, my goal here was to just produce a real-time, real live, not, uh, no control variables. You know, this isn't a lab, this is real life. And just show you what you might expect. Got about half a mile till I'm home, and that's where we'll figure the final number. And I got a little hill here. I'm gonna go ahead and auto stop again one more time and just save a little bit of gas. So three, two, one, here we go. All right, so we are in auto stop. I got a great Christmas gift. I went to a secret, uh, you know, one of those white elephant things, and um, I brought I bought a horrible gift and uh, or brought and wrapped it up. It was a bottle of urine urine smell remover, <laughs> and uh, I actually ended up getting some uh, light up Star Wars chopsticks. They're chopsticks that look like um, lightsabers, so I totally came out ahead with with that. So I'm coasting again. We're at 80 MPGs. I'm gonna put it back in second here and just get a little bit of goose, get a little bit of power to get up this uh, this hill, and then we'll go right back into auto stop. And I'll coast the rest of the way home. So we're sitting at 80 right now, that's pretty darn good. Seven miles, a little shorter than I thought. Just about there. We'll see the final readout for the uh, for the gas mileage. Now, if you notice, my battery has gone from nearly full to a third. Part of that's because I've. Um, you know, have not given it the chance to regen because I've been in auto stop. And part of it's because I have a 12 year old battery and it's just not super healthy, but it'll charge back up. It always does. This car's indestructible. All right, I made it. Uh, let me pull this off the head mount. All right, so how do we do? Let me reset it right. Okay, so that's our final 86 miles per gallon over seven miles. Um, due to forced auto stop and I'll show you here this is my button here that I've got installed and then I've got an LED over here and you can't see that because it's dark but all right that's it forced auto stop demonstration for the Honda Insight did 86 miles per gallon over 7.3 miles on a somewhat hilly Georgia road in town with five or six red lights 58 degrees outside and uh, no mods to the car other than the forced auto stop. Hope this has been uh, encouraging and uh, it's Christmas time. So be merry and stay that way. Peace.